Hi, uh, my name is Vivek Raghuraman. I'm a R&D director in Broadcom's Optical Systems Division. And here we are at OCP 2022 to demonstrate the world's first 25.6D co-package optics switch. We started this uh, partnership with Tencent and Droigi in 2021 to address their next generation uh, challenges with cost, power and uh, bandwidth scaling. And we are using the 25.6D CPO to solve that. This is a 2RU half electrical, half optical system. And you can see how much more airflow comes with the MPO connector versus the QSFP 112 cages. These are the RLM cages and these are the MPO connectors. And these are the QSFP 112 uh, slots that can support DAC, AOCs or optical transceivers. The 2RU box was designed around Tencent's data center architecture and deployment in the connectivity. Here is the 25.6T CPO switch with 12.8 of optical connectivity through four 3.2T skip engines that are solder attached to the substrate. The fibers are plugged into the passive optical connector before the heatsink is attached. So here we generate the traffic inside our here, Tomahawk 4 switch, direct drive the data from our service into the TX side of the optical silicon photonics engine through a fiber cable going into the DR4 module and read the bit error rate performance of the VIV tester. As you can see here, we are seeing a bit error rate of E-11 and E-12 and a very, very short peck tail. As you can see here, that the peck tail is extremely small. As you can see here, we have the self loop back enabled between the channels uh, running at 100 gig. And you can see the 16 lanes are up as well as there's uh, loopback packets going between the TX and RX and there are no packet drops that's indicated by the uh, packet numbers that are that are shown uh, for the different ports. Thank you for watching a quick demonstration of our 25.6D CPO switch system. For more information on Broadcom CPO, please go to www.broadcom.com forward slash CPO.